Here's another lovely integral. I'm integrating from 0 to 4. I know it's hard to see that. That's a 0 and that's a 4 of the square root of 2x plus 1. All right, to integrate this again, you don't want to use the hardest method, but you have to think to yourself, okay, I have a composed function, and the best thing to try is substitution. Take the interior of the composition and let it be u, and let's see what happens. I mean, it may or may not work. I'm thinking it will, though. Again, I'm going to start with the easiest method. I know I can't use the simple method, such as... Um, just the plain old power rule and the derivative sine is cosine and all that kind of stuff, or integral. Um, I'm going to, that doesn't work because of the radical, so I'm going to try the next best thing. So du is equal to 2dx, and um, I just have a 2x plus 1, so that'll be my u. And my dx looks like it'll be 1 half du, so I should be able to substitute. Now this is equal. Now I haven't changed my limits. So I'm going to make sure it's noted. 2x plus 1 is u, and dx is 1 half du. Now my substitution is done. Now I can change my limits if I want, but most students don't like that, so I'm not going to. So I'm, But I do need to write them with the x values to remind me. This is 1 half the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 4 of u to the 1 half du. Using your power rule, u to the 1 half plus 1 divided by 1 half plus 1. x goes from 0 to 4. That's equal to, let's see, 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. So it's going to be 1 half u to the 3 halves over 3 halves. But then, don't forget everything. I know it's annoying to rewrite it, but just do it. But then this 3 halves, you take the reciprocal of it and multiply. So that's 2 thirds u to the 3 halves x equal 4, x equal 0. That, those twos can cancel. And I'm going to substitute back in for the u, what originally u was. So I have 1 third times 2x plus 1 to the 3 halves. Now x goes from 0 to 4. I didn't need to write the x anymore because the x's are in there, but it doesn't kill us. So using the fundamental theorem, I have one third of two times four plus one to the three halves minus two times zero plus one to the three halves. Let's see, slide this up a little bit. That's equal to one third times, let's see, this is nine to the three halves. This is one to the three halves. Nine to the three halves, uh, the denominator is a root, so that's going to be the square root of nine, which is three, and then three cubed is 27 minus one. So it's going to be one third of of 26 or 26 divided by 3. Now since you're, for those who are in my class, these are gateway problems, um, you aren't allowed to use calculators, so get used to practicing without calculators.